and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lauren, and if you're not new, thank you for coming back. Oh, today we're doing a haul. <laughs> I'm not gonna have too many of these on my channel because I don't want to be a person that does hauls, you know? I mean, in my personal life, I don't wanna be hauling a lot of makeup that I don't need. But, uh, you know, I realized that I had ordered quite a bit lately, so I decided that a haul is what we needed. And I wanna show you guys what I picked up, what I'm gonna be using and trying out in future videos, and some things that really caught my eye because we talk a lot about new makeup on this channel and I'll mention if, you know, something has caught my eye, if I wanna buy it or if I don't wanna buy it, if it maybe doesn't look that great. Even in that case, sometimes I'll end up picking that product up just out of curiosity. So some of these were that. Some of these were curiosity products that I wanted to, I wanted to have and some of these are because Beauty Bay was having a sale. And I love Beauty Bay so, so much. So let's get into what I picked up and uh, yeah, I'm excited. Um, so first we can start with this monster. <laughs> so Beauty Bay is a brand that I've talked about quite a bit on my channel and um, I absolutely love it. It's a UK brand and it's kind of like a Sephora or an Ulta. It's got all these different brands on there. And every once in a while they'll have a sale and their sales are like epic because they actually have stuff on sale that I want. <laughs> it's not like stuff that's not selling. It's like some good stuff. So they had a sale. They also launched a new palette that I picked up and will be trying out on camera. So let's get into what I picked up. Uh, okay. I'm putting it on the floor. Um, so the first thing that I picked up is I picked up the new palette from Be Perfect. Newer. I think they might have just had another one that came out. But what I like to do when Be Perfect launches a new palette is I'll wait for it to go on sale because they always go on sale. So this is the Be Perfect Rain palette. So they did this in collaboration with Makeup by Alina. And I saw it and I was like, I know I don't need that palette in my collection, but it's absolutely gorgeous so this is what the palette looks like it opens like two little doors and it is a very bright palette <laughs> i love it i love it so be perfect has one of my favorite eyeshadow formulas it's so so good so i'm excited to try these out i think these might be glitters this one that one and that one so I will be avoiding those because I don't want to put a glitter on my eye. Um, but that's also why I'm glad that I picked this up while I was on sale because I knew that there was going to be, oh yeah, that one too. Ooh, they do look pretty though, don't they? But no, I don't want to put them on my eye because glitters are terrifying. Uh, but that was just the first thing that I saw that was on sale. And I was like, yes, I'm getting that. Next one I picked up is something from Coco and Eve. Now Coco and Eve has hands down my favorite hair mask. I, when it goes on sale, I pick up like five because it's so, so good. So I ended up picking up their whipped body cream in tropical mango scent. And I haven't tried this product before, but again, I have just, just like so much love for their hair mask. And I was like, okay, I, I'm going to try out their body cream. So I kind of want to give it a sniff. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. That smells really good. <laughs> so it smells like thick mango butter cream. Yeah, it smells really good. So I'm excited to try this out. I, again, Coco and Eve, if you see their hair mask on sale, you have to get it. And speaking of the hair mask, I did pick up one because it was on sale. So this is their super nourishing coconut and fig hair mask. It just looks like this. And I promise you, like you will not go wrong with this product. It's really, really thick. And I have, I have fine hair, but it tangles really easily. It also like has quite a bit of volume, especially if I don't blow dry it. It's just, it's got the volume. It's super strange, but uh, it's, I, don't, I don't understand my hair. Uh, but this mask, I'm telling you, like any knots or tangles, it solves it. It's so good. So I picked one of those up. I also picked up a couple of the Beauty Blender makeup sponges. Cause I haven't tried their makeup sponges before. So, uh, they were on sale. All this stuff was on sale and, uh, it was like, okay, well I'm here. You know, I don't do very many beauty bait orders because it's shipped from the UK. So you need like a minimum in order to get that free shipping. Um, but yeah, I thought these little 
beauty blenders looked good. They look like beauty blenders. So yeah, I'm gonna try those out. Honestly, the whole reason that I wanted to place this order was because they came out with their Bright 2.0 palette. And when I saw this, I was really, really excited because again, like I love their formula and it was just a cool looking palette. So this is what the outside of it looks like. Day Glow Yellow Green. And this is what the inside looks like. So really, really pretty. I am so excited. I'm definitely gonna be trying this palette out on camera. So just be on the lookout for that. That's coming up maybe next week. And uh, yeah, I just like that they had a little bit of a more grungy tone in this palette, but it's still, it's, I mean, I it was barely grungy. It's, let's be honest, it's Bright's palette. They know it, they called it that. It's, it is what it is. Um, <laughs> I saw that and I was like, yes, I want that. And you know what? I was like, okay, well, I don't even have the original Bright palette. So how am I going to compare the two? And I mean, with a palette that size, it's kind of hard to compare them because there's just so much. But they were having a sale on their Bright palette. So I picked that one up too, just so we can get an idea of what it looks like. And this is what their original Bright palette looks like. And it's really, really pretty. So I will be comparing the two in a future video. Do I think you need both palettes? Probably not, but um, I was there and they were on sale. Well, I don't think this one was on sale because it's brand new, but this one was definitely on sale. So I picked it up. They actually are really affordable too. So super excited to have those and play around with those. I picked up one last thing from Beauty Bay from their sale and it is a powder blusher by their own brand, so by Beauty Bay. And I got mine in the color Blossom. So this is what the outer packaging looks like. And then this is what the product looks like. So it's a little bit of a shimmery pinky orange. Just kind of swatch that. That is what that blush looks like. So I'll probably be using this in a future video because that's really pretty. And again, all those products were on sale. Super stoked about that. Like a Beauty Bay just, sales are so good. They're dangerous. So that is what I picked up from Beauty Bay. I picked up some stuff from Odin's Eye. Now I already did a first impression of what I picked up. I already filmed that video. It's already out. So I definitely recommend checking that out. But I did pick up quite a few things from their new Solmon 2 line. And I picked up the palette. So just in case you want to take a look, this is what the palette looks like. And you know, Again, go see that video where I tried it on, but I was really impressed with how this palette performed. Um, I also picked up a couple of their gel liners, which are floating around in my room somewhere. <laughs> Three of their highlighters and four of their blushes. And I swatched all of those in the other video, so please, again, go take a look. But I got, just so you can kind of see, this is what the outer packaging for the highlighters look like. And the first one I got was Moon Talk, so it looks like this. This is Pink Star, Rose Sky, and then I also picked up four of their blushers. So we have Warm Sun, Peach Gleam, Rosette Love, and Sienna Luster. So I am absolutely obsessed with their blushes. Uh, they just performed so well when I tried them out. So love, love what I picked up from Odin's Eye. Um, definitely recommend you checking out the video where I tried it on because that, that way you can see how it performs. And yeah, really excited to have those in my collection. Last but certainly not least, we did pick up some things from Sephora. So some things that I've had my eye on for a while. Um, one video that is upcoming is a comparison of all of the bronzers that I picked up recently, because I picked up quite a few. I did pick up the new Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Sunkissed Glow Bronzer, and I picked up mine up in the shade one, Fair. So that will be coming up in a future video. Uh, we also picked up the new Make Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt, Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer in light. So I picked that one up too. And I think this is their, this is their bronzer. So they came out with two products and one is uh, like an all over powder, I think. 
even though it looks like a bronzer. And then this one is actually a bronzer. So this one will be going in my bronzer video. We also picked up a couple of things from House Labs. And I actually just filmed a try on video with a few of these products, not not all of them because I only have one face and I have like five new bronzers. Uh, but I did try out the new House Labs products that I picked up, uh, which is their bronzer in light level two and their highlighter in rose quartz. And those are actually on my face right now. So that video is going to be going up next tomorrow, tomorrow. And you can kind of check out to see how these products performed there but I am actually really impressed with the relaunch that Lady Gaga did with her house labs because I was not interested at all at the initial launch. Like the first products that came out, they did not speak to me whatsoever. I also picked up the multi-stick from Elia in the color In The Mood. So this is supposed to be, I think you can kind of use it all over for cheeks and lips. I never do that. I normally only use it on my cheeks, but this is what the color looks like. So it's a really pretty orangey color. Let's kind of swatch that. Is it coming? Is it a color? It's very, very light. So it's very, very light. I don't even know if you're going to be able to see it. It's very light. Okay. I'm kind of concerned by how light that is. <laughs> I haven't tried this one out yet. So now I'm kind of nervous to see how it works. But that is the product that I picked up that I will be trying out. I also picked up the new foundation from Kosas because I've heard so many good things about it. So this is the Revealer Skin Improving Foundation in the color Very Light Natural. So I did actually try this one out in my new makeup video. So if you want to see my opinions, watch that video. Um, I also picked up the new Pout Skull from Fenty Beauty in the color My Type. And this is a hydrating lip stain and I'm wearing it on my lips now. And so far, I really like it. It's not drying at all. It feels very hydrating, just like they say. And I'm excited to see how well it wears because from what I've seen in a couple other review videos is that it is on there for good. So excited for that. Let's see, I also picked up a new concealer. I've been really loving so much out of Rare Beauty. So I picked up their Liquid Touch Brightening Concealer in the color 130N. So excited to try that out. Um, the Cali Ray Come Hell or High Water Clean Mascara. I was so interested in this because I believe it's a tubing mascara. So it's supposed to create like those tubes around your eyelashes. And I tried this out. It's in the next video and I love it. Spoiler, I love it. It's so good. So I'm excited to get more use out of that one. And then I picked some stuff up from Rose Ink. I was really excited for this launch. I haven't tried any of these products yet, but I picked up their bronzer in Parrot K and two of their highlighters, so in Opalescent and in Brilliant. So we'll be having a video coming out where I try these products on as well, because I'm super excited for that. Last but not least, I picked up the <laughs> Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip. Lip tint? Is it a lip tint? I think it's just like a little bit of a hydrating lip balm type deal, but I saw someone use this on TikTok and I was like, yes, that does look amazing. So I have mine in the color rose um, and I'm excited to try that one out as well. So that is what I have been hauling lately. Um, most of these things you're going to be seeing in upcoming videos because I, I want to use them. I want to see how they perform. I'm super excited to film with them. And again, some of these you will see because I've already filmed a video with them, which is coming up next. It's the next video I'll be posting. So be on the lookout for that. I'm really excited for that one. I think this look turned out really well. So I'm really excited with all the new makeup that I was playing with. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have an amazing rest of your week and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.